Welcome back, Muskies. It is October 8, 2021. I'm Nyla Medley. I'm Brianna Yarrington. And, and this, this is Muskie Musky Minutes. <laughs> Hello, Muskies. I'm Trey. And I'm Kaylee, and we're back with your general announcements. Jostens will be taking class ring orders Tuesday, October 12th during A&B lunch in front of the Student Service Office. The deadline to order Visual Arts t-shirt is today, October 8th. The link is in the general announcements. Lost anything? Water bottle? Jewelry? Earbuds? Phone? Darn! It's... You have a fire oh, drill? Oh my god, I did not know... Hey guys, this is Muskie Minutes here for a special report here with the fire drill. Or is it? We're here today, as you can see, with the whole school outside. We're not very sure what's going on right now, and details are currently being withheld. Will we find out if it's real? Maybe. I don't know. Back to you. Welcome back. We're very sorry for that interruption. Lost anything? Water bottle? Jewelry? Earbuds? Phone? Check out the attendance center and see if it was turned in. Upward Bound will meet weekly on Thursdays after school in the MHS library. If you have any questions, check the announcements or contact Mrs. Lynch. Student ID cards are available to be picked up in student services before school, during lunch, or after school in the student service offices. Kirkwood College will be visiting on Monday, October 11th during Muska time in the student service office. We have one silver cord opportunity this week. Stinky's House of Horror needs help with yard work to clean up so they have a good haunted house. Remember to log your silver cord hours on the silver cord form on the newsletter so your hours will be counted. And, and now, now on to Erica, Erica with, with a special, special feature. <laughs> Thank you, Trey and Kaylee. Hi, I'm Erica Delano, and I'm gonna be giving you all more information on the painted parking spots. As a reminder, if you see one of these awesome painted spots, please do not park in them. You will be tagged. These kids worked hard and paid for this privilege. I interviewed Michaela Delano, a senior at MHS who has a painted spot. I asked her what the overall process of doing this was. She used Pinterest for some funky ideas, and once her design was approved, she got to work. It took her about four and a half hours to complete her spot. She definitely recommends that the underclassmen buy a parking spot to paint once they're able to. Welcome back to Muskie Sports News with Daniel Adams. I'm here with... Bree. And today we're going to ask some questions. Um, what are your thoughts on the season so far? Um, so far it's been a rough start, but um, I think we'll keep getting better as the season goes along. Hopefully we can get some wins. Um, as you may know, you were selected for the Muskie Volleyball Player of the Month. What are your thoughts on that? Um, I feel super honored. I think that's just like um, like a huge thing for me, especially. And I think it just shows like how hard I work and like my leadership. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Hello. Oh. I'm here with Abby and Kate. And they're part of the swim team. Oh. All right. So what events do you swim in? I swim the 50 free and the 100 free. I also swim the 50 and the 100 free. How has the swim season been so far? It's been pretty good. We've had a good start, and we only have a couple more meets left to the end of the season, so now we're preparing for districts. What are your plans after high school? Um, I plan to continue to swim in college, and I'm not sure what college I'm going to yet, but I plan to go into the medical field somewhere. <laughs> and I'm here with Douglas Custis. And what are your thoughts on the season so far? Uh, it was a good season, it was an enjoyable season. Uh, definitely played some good tournaments, some bad ones, but had a lot of fun and had a lot of, a lot of enjoyable moments. Um, how were districts? Uh, could have been better, could have been worse. Started out really slow, stayed pretty slow for the first nine holes, and then turned it around on my back nine. Little too little, little too late. It just wasn't enough to get me there. Um, what are your thoughts on being named all conference honors? Uh, it's definitely Definitely glad, definitely felt like a big honor. Um, was definitely felt accomplished, especially being named second team last year as well. I definitely wanted to at least be named the same team or even better, but all good things coming from that and definitely no, uh, no hard feelings coming from only the second team. Um, what are your plans after high school? Uh, I plan on attending Loris College in Dubuque to study kinesiology and play golf. Thank you for your interview. What are your thoughts on the season so far? Uh, it was a fun season. I enjoyed enjoyed it all. Uh, I wish we would have won at least one tournament, but we didn't. But overall, it was really fun, and I'm glad I did it for four years. Um, how was districts? Uh, districts wasn't bad. We beat some teams that beat us uh, in uh, the MAC conference, so it was pretty good. But uh, as an individual, I didn't end it very well, but as a team, we did pretty good. Thanks for your interview. 
And I'm here with Grace Bodie. So what position do you play? I play libero and they play in the back row. Um, what are your thoughts about the season so far? So the first half of the season, we were trying to figure out who played best with each other and um, how we could be successful. And then earlier this week, we finally put it all together. So I'm really excited for the rest of this season. Here are the results from last week's poll. Shout out to Black Pearl and Coffee Belt for keeping us energized. Don't forget to follow Musky Mints on Instagram and vote in today's poll. We at Musky Minutes want to wish these muskies a very happy birthday. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's edition of Hallway Shenanigans. I'm Carson. And I'm Bob. And I'm Gabe, and today we're doing the ultimate singing challenge. For the law. Let's get it. We only have I'm here with Caden Garrett. And we're doing Sing That Tune. I'm gonna sing him a part of a song and then he has to sing the next line. Wise men say oh, only fools follow. Yeah! Yay! We're here with Parker Green. Continuing the singing challenge. Now I'm going to sing you a little bit and we'll see if you know the next part. Okay. You are my fire. No one desires. There you go. Good job. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Carson. Today we're here with Keegan Magatee. And we're going to be doing some more singing challenges. So here we go. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, we're living on a prayer. Hey, let's go. <laughs> let's go, good stuff. Hey, we're good. Hey, guys, that was some great musket singing. We really enjoyed it, and we hope we'll see you next time. Hey, muskies, we're here with Andrew, Katie, and Brendan for the Van Invitational. So, our first question is what are the Van Invitational? So the marching band invitational is a bunch of various schools. We have 17 schools coming, and they compete for awards. Uh, it starts at 5:30, and we play at 10:15, but we don't compete for the awards because we're hosting. So what instruments do you guys play? We well, we're all drum majors, so that means that we conduct the music on the field. But in concert band, I play clarinet. I play very sax, and I play the greatest instrument of all, the trombone. Who summoned me? I did. May I get my three wishes? No. It's time for food for the brain. This coming Sunday will be World Mental Health Day. As such, here's a special quote by... Mariska Hargitay, right? Yes. Mariska once said, Healing takes time, and asking for help is a courageous step. So patience is key, and stay strong, and keep pushing through. We will see you next time. Can I get my three wishes now? No. 